Hey everybody, how you all doing? Welcome to the Dee's Village Studios. I'm making myself laugh. I wish I had a studio. That's just a joke. Anyway, if it's your first time stopping by, my name's Dee, welcome. Welcome to the old subscribers, welcome to the new. Thanks for clicking the notification bell. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for taking the time out to listen to what I have to say. Um, first and foremost, a, a shout out to one of the subscribers. She asked the question, um, can you drink the water in Gambia? Again, another very, very suitable and sensible question. Because we take these things for granted that in most of the countries that we live in, we can just go to the tap in the, in the kitchen, turn the tap on, the water will come out and it's been purified and cleansed and cleaned. And you know, in some countries, they do put things in the water um, and that's a conversation for, for other days. But in essence, most of the time, the water is purified to a degree that you can just pour it into a glass and drink it straight from the tap, put it in the fridge to make it cool, whatever. You have those options and those facilities. And not every country has those facilities. You can see behind me, I've got the map of Africa and my favorite continent. Um, I really do wish that I had the energy no, not the energy, the, the galaxy, <laughs> the sterling, the dollar, whatever it is, to be traveling to all these beautiful places. Oh, which place would you like to go? Put it down in the comments section. Just really interesting to see where people have been, where people have been traveling to, where people are going. But anyway, let's get into this. So the question was posed by Miss J. Um, can you drink the drinking water in Gambia? And in for those of us that are traveling from other places to the Gambia, it's a no, a definite no. So I've got some statistics here. So just let me look at my paper because I, I can't remember statistics. So there are some statistics that say that 53% um, of the people in the rural areas, that is in the villages in Gambia, now have access to clean drinking water. So that's just over half. Oh, we have to do better. We have to do better. We have to do better. So now what we're going to do, how we're going to do it, and so on. I mean, I've helped to sponsor a water project in, in a village in the Gambia. Not just me, some other people as well have helped to sponsor that. The villagers have done their bit locally as well, all pulling together, putting a certain, they've got committees, putting money together and forming resources in order to help an outreach to everybody within that community which is a fantastic fantastic idea anyway we digress um it's according to the statistics from a well-known um i don't want to say charity that that um is known all over the world they say that um 45 percent of the water can be contaminated so that means it's not good for drinking that equal but again these are challenges and vlogs for other days so many people i mean when i first started to go to the gambia i just used to buy bottled water and cook with the bottled water drink the bottled water and so on and so forth but that can become very expensive number one so you what you <laughs> excuse me what you will see is that lo a lot of local people have wells um, which are on their own personal land and they'll get the water out of the well um, and I'm pretty sure that they drink it because I know they'll use that to make a tyre so maybe they'll boil it first and cool it down I don't know the detail of that but I've seen quite a few wells in Gambia that people have on their own personal land they have wells and that tends to be the older older people if you want to put it that way a lot of people will have a borehole which is where you tap into the local supply of water um the companies individuals will dig down and um create a system where you can extract the water um from the ground to your particular land and they go down consistently until that water is clear and you know the people will test the ph in various different ways and some people will drink the borehole water, but I wouldn't advise that 
for somebody who's traveling your stomach has to get used to those things and it takes time i mean i wouldn't drink it anyway knowingly because i have a, um some people are more stomachs are more sensitive than others so i would say no to the well water and um the borehole water if it's bald and cooled yes definitely definitely that that doesn't present any challenges and you'll also see around in the community a lot of standpipes where um there'll be a standpipe in a certain place so all those local people living in that vicinity there will turn up will go there to fetch that water for washing cleaning cooking washing their fruit their vegetable and and obviously um for hyg hygiene and hygiene purposes as well and i've also noticed that um other other people may not have a stamp pipe well they will have a stamp pipe in the local community but what some people do is um outside their house there's a borehole that maybe the community have chipped in together and then that borehole will serve the local community as well so that's another way of, of getting fresh water to the locals and for those people that uh that have finances that are coming to the gambia well then you know lots of people will use a, a water filtration system um or water or water purification tablets and you know, they, they use those how would you call them those ph strips that you dip in the water to see whether you, you're able to drink it or some people buy those fancy expensive water filtration um systems when i went to the trade fair in gambia there was a company i can't remember the name of it now that was um promoting those water filtration systems um, but they were quite costly but i think overall longevity if you have those sorts of ones it'd be a great thing to purchase great thing to purchase and incidentally gambia bottles its own water again i can't remember the name of the the company but they do i think there might even be more than one company in gambia that bottles water anyway if you know the answer put it down in the comments section because all this information is always useful for everybody else if i'm cooking i will just cook with with the with with the with the water that comes out the tap because it's by the time it's boiled to a certain temperature i'm i'm absolutely okay so when i'm out and about you know when um i'm purchasing a drink locally unless it's already bottled or canned or what have you i will ask is it local water because some people do make their <coughs> excuse me drinks that they sell with local water and some people will make it with bottled water depending on where they're selling it and who their who their customers will will be if you know if you're going to be selling say potentially um in a so-called tourist area or where more tourists may frequent it would make sense that you use um bottled water because then you'll push those sales to the tourists that makes sense to me so uh, that's all i've got for you right now that drinking water no is, is is a no for me it's a definite no for me and i wouldn't advise it for anybody else and you don't want to be ill because then you'll end up being dehydrated and all these other things that can happen to you when you get contaminants in your stomach so you know if you if you can avoid it and you can afford the bottle of water then do that if not you boil and cool it and you take your time and see how you manage with that so it's been d at d's village if you found that useful give it a thumbs up um pass the information on to somebody else and you know you could always subscribe it won't hurt but that's all i've got for you right now until another another good good time peace guidance protection Walk good, walk good, walk good. You don't know Kyra. We are here.